A year after being recalled from office, former San Francisco District Attorney Chesa Boudin now has a new job. He's the executive director of the new Criminal Law and Justice Center at UC Berkeley School of Law. The center will focus on research and advocacy work to advance criminal justice reforms. And for more, we're joined live this afternoon by Chesa Boudin. We appreciate you taking the time. It's, it's good to see you. Let, let's start with uh, how you reached this decision. Why did you decide to take this path and how do you believe this new center at UC Berkeley's law school can, can really drive meaningful change in the criminal justice system? Well, thank you, Alex. It's great to be with you and uh, back on your show. Uh, look, I'm thrilled to be starting a new chapter in my career, a career I've dedicated to making our community safer and our legal system more just and to be doing it at the country's premier public law school, a place where I'll be working every day with students who are future judges and prosecutors and public defenders, future immigration advocates and tenants' rights lawyers, uh, and where I'm surrounded by scholars who are doing deep thinking about the very real challenges we face as a community and about the path to solving those problems. All right. Um, Chase, oh, talk, talk about the, the aim of, of the new Criminal Law and Justice Center. Um, you're going to be really evaluating specific criminal justice policies uh, using data, using analytics, using facts. And, and what kind of analysis are you going to do? And, and how do you believe that leads to, to reforms in the system? Well, absolutely, Alex. You know, I'm so glad you asked. In the two and a half years I spent in San Francisco's elected district attorney, I learned a lot of lessons. That it takes a lot more than just winning elections to achieve good policy outcomes and to drive the kind of reforms that we all want and deserve, to build the kind of communities that we want to raise our families in and, and call home. Um, what I witnessed time and time again, and what sadly we're still seeing, not just in San Francisco and the Bay Area, but across the country, is that the conversations in the public square about criminal justice issues, about public safety issues, are all too often driven by viral videos and, and sound bites and politicians following polls instead of being leaders and showing creativity or uh, driving forward with evidence-based practices. And we have simply got to follow the science and the empirical evidence and at least remember what has been tried and failed in the past. That's not happening today, and I want to help make sure that our conversation is informed by the best evidence and the best practices. All right, so obviously you were elected as a DA in San Francisco in 2019, uh, part of a wave of progressive prosecutors we watched uh, take office across the country. Uh, among other policy changes, you, you eliminated cash bail, you, you diverted more defendants to treatment programs, and, and you put a, a, a heavy focus on police misconduct and, and holding officers accountable. Uh, but obviously you, you saw supporters of this recall movement, uh, many of them viewed your policies as being too lenient, and, and they believe that you were making the city of San Francisco less safe. You, you've obviously had some time now to kind of, uh, you know, come to terms with the decision the voters in San Francisco made when they recalled you a year ago. Do you have any regrets, Chesa, about the, the policies you implemented or, or your approach to the position and, or how you responded to voter concerns? Oh, we may have lost Chesa. It sounds like we did. 